Hey folks, so I wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you guys a little bit about Star Wars Legion and my first impression so far. Uh, for the most part, uh, the models themselves, I, you know, I like them. They're nice. Uh, they're, they're detailed. Uh, they're made of a soft plastic, so they're a little bit more forgiving if you drop them. They are uh, pretty, pretty detailed. They, they look like what they're supposed to look like. When it comes to uh, building up lists, uh, like any army uh, you would build for any other game, it's pretty straightforward. You have leaders, you have various different types of units like heavy support and, and things along those lines. When you are building your list, you have various different upgrades that you can add in and it does allow you to really customize your army. When you're looking at these different upgrades, there's a lot of characterful upgrades too for these uh, different units. So for example, uh, a force user would have something like a force push or the ability to throw a lightsaber or being able to move quickly or something along those lines. Whereas a stormtrooper unit can become more precise if they have something like uh, scopes and things. So it's, it's really interesting how the list can be built out and you can make it as customizational as customizable as possible and of course that gives you a lot of flavor in there too when it comes to actually playing the game the game is based on an alternating activation so you take turns all uh, activating uh, random units throughout your army uh, you also have uh, different cards that have different values associated with them to determine who goes first with special rules associated with them too you have the ability to move your units as you activate them and when you activate them you typically get uh two um what's the right word they're called actions <laughs> so uh when you're activating the unit you do different actions so you typically you can do a move and then a shoot or an aim and a shoot things like that uh, aiming gives you like re-rolls and stuff and what I really like about this game is to get re-rolls you usually have to sacrifice something to gain them unlike 40k where you just get them automatically so uh, that that is something I really do like uh, when it comes to movement you have um, movement templates that you have to put down uh, off the uh, units leader and then you just kind of go from there once you're done moving the units leader you just kind of pack everybody around it and just make sure he's within coherency now, when it comes to uh, moving uh, faster vehicles or, or speeder bikes and things like that, they have a mandatory move. So you have your mandatory movement and then you can move uh, afterwards, which basically represents them moving really quickly along the, um, along the tabletop. When it comes to targeting, targeting is something that's kind of, you know, pretty straightforward. You select the unit. Uh, target cover uh, percentages of units covered uh, can can lend certain things like uh, cover bonuses and stuff when it comes to the dice themselves uh, they are d8s with various different symbols uh, depending on your unit there's uh, a better chance of doing various different things uh, which is which is kind of nice uh, I'm not gonna go too deep into the dice but it does uh, lend a lot more to uh, randomness and uh, a lot more uh, flavor to the gameplay as opposed to just running d6s now one thing I'm not too sure about uh, is uh, something along the lines of MSU with alternate activations if that's something that might be really strong um, I haven't really played around with this too much but uh, I could be totally wrong but some of the experience I've had is when you have more units on the table, you've got more activations and you can kind of do a, uh, a little bit more being able to pump out a little bit more firepower or something like that on certain units and uh, causing them to uh, potentially run away uh, before they even have a chance to activate or something. Anyways, um, with that said, uh, overall, my impressions have been really good. I do enjoy the game. Uh, it's fun to paint up the armies. There's a lot of flavor to these different armies and stuff. So Really, uh, if you get an opportunity to check it out, do so. And uh, let me know what you guys think of it. With that said, I will talk to you guys later. Bye now.